I'm Katie. I work over in the mail and property unit, and I'm just here to talk to you about a few of the do's and don'ts of the property and mail unit. Inmates can begin receiving mail as soon as they come to the prison. When addressing your envelope, you want to make sure that you address it with both the inmate name and their offender number. If it does not have both pieces of information, then it will be returned to the sender. Inmates are allowed to possess up to 25 photos at a time. Books can only be purchased by the inmate through inmate commissary. They then will be shipped directly from the vendor to the inmate property unit to be inspected and shipped to the inmate. Family members or friends may get a subscription for inmates for a magazine or newspaper. The newspapers and magazines must be sent straight from the publisher and the address must include both the inmate's name and full commitment number. Magazines that contain pornographic material, drug-related material, firearms, gang signs, or other contraband will not be accepted. Magazines and newspapers are accepted into the institution on an issue-by-issue -issue basis. When officers find inmates who have an excess of property such as hobby crafts or photographs, they will be required to send them out. They can do this either via mail or they can designate someone to come pick them up. Inmates are not authorized to receive packages and any other unauthorized mail will be returned to the sender. The amount of property that an inmate is authorized to have is determined by their housing and privilege level. Inmates cannot receive musical cards or cards that have multiple folds or layers. 